Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews Now 2, and on today's video, we're we'll taking a look at ways of actually getting Windows 11 to install on slightly older hardware, such as this Surface Pro 3. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so some of you may have heard of a new operating system from Microsoft known as Windows 11. You probably have heard of it, or if not, you've possibly seen it in your Windows update on your Windows 10 device, saying that your PC is not capable of running it. Now, this is not entirely an accurate statement. There are ways around that, of which we're going to be investigating today. So what you will need is obviously your PC, you'll need an internet connection, you'll need a USB stick, optional, and also you'll need the ability to delve into the registry. But don't worry, we'll show you exactly how to do it coming up right now. Now wait, first thing to do before you do anything, grab your backup disk and do a backup of your machine just in case anything should go wrong. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to open up regedit. So go down to your start bar and type in regedit, start typing it, it should come up. So this is our registry editor. I'm going to right click on this and we're going to choose run as administrator. You'll get the user account control notification come up and just click on yes. So this is our registry editor. This is obviously why we decided to make a backup previously, because if you change things in here, potentially Windows might not boot again. So now we need to navigate to a specific key. So we're going to go over to H key local machine then system, then all the way down to setup and then Mo setup. And there's no values actually in here at the moment. So what we're going to need to do is to create a new value. So we're going to right click, choose new, and choose a 32-bit value, a D-word 32-bit value. And there's a really long name to this, so I'm going to put it on the screen. So you can either copy and paste it. I'll put it in the video description as well, so all the instructions will be there. So you can go ahead and do it from there. It has to be typed in exactly as it is shown. So the final bit is going to say, allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. And obviously make sure the capitalizations are done in the correct places. Once you're done, Press OK, and then we can go in and double click on that. And we need to set it so there is a hexadecimal value of one. So just press one and then click on OK. Now, as you can see, it still says that the PC currently doesn't meet Windows 11 system requirements. So we're going to go ahead and download a Windows 11 ISO, put it onto a USB stick. You can use the Windows media creation tool for that, which very straightforward and very simple to do. Links for that will be in the video description as well. You will need a USB drive for that. So I'm actually going to try it because I've already downloaded it just to save you guys waiting. And we're just going to run setup exe from this disk. And it appears it will do. So it says yeah, install Windows 11, setup will go online and get updates, etc. And there we go. It appears to be installing Windows 11. So obviously, if you're trying to do it via the Windows update method, then you are still going to get the error message saying that Windows can't be updated. But if you download Windows 11 onto a USB stick, then it should work absolutely fine. We've got a message here saying that we need to, that we need to restart after some updates are applied. And let's see, it says checking your PC now. And there we go, getting a few things ready. So this should go through the process and install Windows 11 on our typically unsupported device. And as you can see, it's asking for terms and conditions. So we're just going to go ahead, let it do the upgrade and get the update. So it appears to be going through the process. I'm going to let it go through, do its thing, and uh, we'll wait for a reboot. And I'll show you what the screen looks like after. But as far as things look at the moment, it's looking A-OK. -okay. okay, so we come to a part here where this is a kind of word of warning from Microsoft and themselves. So as part of the Windows 11 setup, it says here, what needs your attention? So essentially what this is, is a warning saying that the PC doesn't meet the specific requirements for Windows 11. And essentially, if you want to go ahead, then you're kind of on your own. So there's no warranty implied or given. And if you click on accept, then yeah, on your own head, be it. Once you've done that, it'll go through and check your PC has enough space, etc., And then it'll carry on doing the upgrade after you click on install. And there we go, we're installing Windows 11. 
And there, as you can see, next it just says installing Windows 11. So we can pretty much let it get on and do its own thing and we'll come back when this is finished. If you get to this part in the installation, uh, don't be like Mike and make sure you have actually removed your USB stick from the computer, which uh, sadly I forgot to do. So uh, yeah, take that out. And then when you've pressed that, you can click on yes and it will restart properly. Okay, so there we go, all done. It was a relatively painless task and we now have Windows 11 running on our unsupported Microsoft Surface Pro 3. And all we needed was our Windows 11 installation from the media creation tool. Again, links for that will be in the video description below. I didn't bother going through the whole process of that. Most people have seen it before. If you haven't seen it already, then there is a link to how to create a Windows 10 version, which is pretty much identical. You can watch that up here. If you've got any comments or questions, obviously do let us know in the comment section or join us on our Discord in one of the technical support rooms and we'll try and guide you through the process. But hopefully for those of you that had a slightly older PC or machine which appeared to be incompatible with the new Windows 11 operating system, hopefully this has given you a little bit of uh, light at the end of that tunnel and hopefully it will give your PC or device a little bit more longevity. So let me know what you think about this one in the comments section below. Do you think it's a good idea to upgrade to Windows 11 or should you stick with Windows 10? on these older devices. Let me know, I'm very interested here. But anyway, that's gonna wrap this one up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.